Hello everyone, welcome once again to HabitronicsDirect.com. My name is Hugo Almeida and today I'm very pleased because we got a guest here, my good buddy here, Ted Conosoglis, expert in telecommunications, data and also video. Works on a daily basis, whether it's pulling the cable, installing systems, but the thing is, since he visited, he can't leave until he does a couple videos with us. Right. So while he's here, I want to bring to you how to punch down properly Keystone Jacks. Cat 5 and Cat 6, we might as well tackle both of them while he's here. Now, a couple things I'm going to ask Ted is, first off, what do I need if I want to properly install a Keystone Jack, punch down the cable, and, and, and do a nice, nice finish? Okay, well that's quite simple. First and foremost, you're going to need a punch down tool. You're going to need a scissors. Um, again, a matter of preference, when you're on the job, what you feel comfortable with, what's going to get you through it quicker and more accurate. You can also use some kind of a, sp uh, a stripper that takes the coating off the cable. Cool. So guys, check it out in a matter of seconds here. We're going to have a step-by-step -step, uh, explanation by Ted, how we go about punching down Cat 5 e and Cat 6 to the Keystone Jacks. Check All right. it out. We're going to now start with a Category 6 cable. We're going to punch it down onto a Category 6 jack. All right, you first take your scissors and you want to take off the coating outside sheathing of the cable. Now some people like to use a splitter. I like to use a scissors because it's a little bit quicker. You cut your pull string out. Then you take the spleen and you bend it out this way and you get as close as you can to the cables that are coming through. Okay. Next, what you try to do is you want to separate your pairs. Some people like to do the twist method that spins it around like this. Me personally, I like to go with a, a regular screwdriver and you wedge it in between the two pairs and then you pull right up. As you can see it goes quicker especially in a work environment when you're doing multiple pulls. You just do it again in between the two and then pull straight up. In between another pair and pull straight up. Once you got them separated, what you want to take note is on the key, on the jack itself what the color matches are white to whatever color or the dark color itself we're going to again go with the brown and we separate it through put it down the slots push it into place you then take your next pair which you can do whatever you want again whatever you feel comfortable with I will go with orange all right. Once you get them all in place, again, you just double check to make sure that you have the right code, the color code, to the right slot, as you can see on both sides. And then you're ready to punch down. Again, make sure you're careful not to punch it on something like a wood surface like this, because it will put marks in there from the pressure of your punch tool. Again, make sure to keep your cut tool, your 110 cut, on the outside. And then with Cat 6, I suggest going double punch. And then any excess, you do the circular motion to make sure you don't pull it out of the slot. All right, and there your finished product is a punch down category six jack with category six wire. And you also make sure that all the pairs are lined up. All right, and then also not too much of the outside sheathing should be exposed. So it's right up against the jack makes all your IT people happy and then you finish it with the cap to protect the cable when it's inside the wall and there you have a finished product of a category 6 punch. You have it my friends. Thank you Ted so much for stopping by and showing us how to punch down the proper way a Cat 5V, Cat 6 Keystone Jack with Cat 5V and Cat 6 cable. Couple simple tools again keep in mind punch down tool with the 110 blade and the cut on the blade itself. For those that have uh, a preference, we do have, it's called a smart strip by Ripley Tools to prepare the cable or if you want we have the electrician scissors as well to strip and prepare the cable. That's a preference.
keep in mind, sometimes we have these little base rubber to absorb the punch down so you're not doing it up against the wall or on furniture. Sometimes we'll throw these in for nothing. So keep us in mind for your next application, whether it's voice, whether it's video or data. And if anybody needs professional cabling, whether it's, again, voice, video or data, Ted Kanasag is available. Shoot us an email, sales at abitronics.com. Again, my friends, follow us on Twitter. Become a fan on Facebook. Make the connection. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me.